Hey, I'm Russ Jones from the YouTube channel Smoky Ribs. We're out here on Graveline Bayou. We're catching speckled trout today. We're going to catch some of these, take them back home, and show you how to cook them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You've been doing this as long as me. After a while, you kind of get a feel for knowing when they're long enough. This one's 14 and a half inches long. He's a keeper. They got to be a minimum of 13 inches. This is a DOA. We call this a root beer color. It's got kind of a brownish red sparkle in it. I don't know if this one's going to make the cut or not. I'm going to have to measure them and see. They got to be 13 inches be legal. Let's see here. I don't think he's going to make it. He's 11 and a half inches. Got to throw him back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Indeed. Might make it. I don't know, it's gonna be close. We need more for the ice box. He is 13 and a half inches. Yes, sir. Another keeper. He pulled like crazy at the beginning. He ain't pulling so hard now. Let's see how big he is. He is 13 and a quarter inches. Actually, 13 and a half. Yes, indeed. I like the ones you ain't got to measure. You just know they're big enough. But I'll take any of them. He gonna make 13 what? Breaks my heart. <laughs> All right, here we go. He feels a little better. Oh yeah, that's a keeper right there. I do believe. He yeah, he's a keeper. Yes, sir. Hooked him good too. Fourteen, a little over fourteen inches. Another keeper. Heck, yeah, yeah. Good tonight. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. That's a what I'm talking about. I ain't even got a measure. That's what I'm talking about. There's big ones off there on this side. Yes, sir. Quit rolling up so much extra line. Well. all day long. Yes, sir. This is number seven. I would venture to say I've, I have probably caught around 25. I've had to throw back a lot because they're not legal size, but I've got eight in the box right now, and you're allowed to keep up to 15 per person. We might be going in pretty quick, but I tell you what, I hate leaving when they're biting like this. 
All right, we got the fish all filleted. Man, I cannot wait. This is my all time favorite fish above all, even above flounder, and I do love flounder. All right, so what I'm gonna start with first, gonna show you how I make hush puppies. Can't have fried fish without hush puppies. All right, we're gonna start off with a wet ingredient. So I've got three quarter cup of buttermilk going in. Got three eggs going in. All right, I'm gonna whisk these eggs up really good. Get it incorporated into that buttermilk. All right, now into that, I've got one large jalapeno pepper I'm throwing in. Got one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder. Gonna add in about a quarter teaspoon, a heaping quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Now what I've got here is all purpose flour. I've got three quarters of a cup, but you don't want all that. Actually what you want is around a quarter of a cup, but I'm gonna save some of this in case I need to thicken it up. All right, we're gonna hold with that, well, a little bit more. All right, we're gonna go with that. Now, the best hush puppies I ever had in my life, I'll lie to you not, was made with this right here, Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. I've had hush puppies all my life in seafood restaurants. My mother made them, I've made them, but by far this is the best. These are very light and airy, and they got a really nice crisp to them. Try it. All right, one full container of the Jiffy Cornmeal Mix. That's 8.5 ounces. I've got some jalapeno pepper jack cheese, but this isn't any cheese. This is high temperature cheese like you would put into sausage for sausage makers. It doesn't melt until it reaches 400 degrees. I'll be frying this at 350 degrees. So it's gonna get nice, creamy, incorporate well, but not be all melted. All right, I'm just gonna simply mix all this up. That's pretty thick, but I'm still gonna add a little bit more flour. I want a little bit more thickness to this. I think that should do it right there. So I end up with about a half a cup of all-purpose flour. All right, I got my oil coming up to temp. Just as soon as it hits 350 degrees, I'll be dropping these in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop in some of these hush puppies. Now these are brown on one side, and you'll have to flip them over to get your other side. Don't take long either. 350 degree oil is all you need. All right, let's flip one of these first ones over and see how we look. Look at that. All right, while these are cooking, you can remove these little bits and pieces that came off while spooning it into the oil. No big deal. It all floats. All right, these are looking really good. They're all floating. They're all nice and golden brown. I'm just gonna take and let these drain out for a second. Then I'm gonna actually strain them on paper towels and we're gonna start another batch. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start dropping some of these speckled trout over here into this hot oil. I'm gonna show you how I do it. We're just gonna put a lot of hot sauce in this. I would venture to say that's at least a cup and a half, maybe closer to two cups, easy. So now I'm just gonna put about three good squirts, about three tablespoons of this mustard here, just like that. We're gonna give this a good mix. All right, I'd like to say something real quick before I get started with this. And if you'll notice, I've got the backbone, fish backbone all through here. I got the throats. Most people throw this away to heck with that. That fish didn't die in vain, didn't die for nothing. I appreciate wildlife. I appreciate them filling my belly up and they're not gonna die and not be completely consumed with edible parts. This is one of them. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna coat this inside this sauce. By the way, these fried fishtails are excellent. Now, I'm gonna take and dip this over here. And by the way, this is Zataran seasoned fish fry. This is all I've ever used. To me, it's just simply the best. And as you can see, I bought in volume. All right, we're gonna put a good dusting of this on here. So I'm gonna take all these pieces. I'm gonna keep doing the same thing, just dip them in the hot sauce concoction we got here, Zatarain's seasoned fish fry, and into the hot oil. I'll bring you back when all these are done.
right, we're all done here. Got everything cooked up. Got a whole platter of speckled trout. Let's take a look at this real quick. I'm going to show you the different cuts. This is a filet. I got, let's say I had uh, eight speckled trout, so I ended up with 16 filets. And I'm here to tell you, the rest of the family's done eight, so there's not 16 filets here any longer. These are the throats right here. Full of good meat. You do have to contend with the bones. Right here, this is the backbone I was talking about. Why waste that? All this good meat in here, but you do have to contend with bones. I was born and raised right here in the deep south, Gulf Coast of Mississippi. My parents, we filleted fish and we'd cook them whole sometime, minus the head and all that good stuff. But uh, they didn't remove the bones. They didn't worry about the bones. They taught us kids how to avoid the bones and how to pick through them and how to detect them. So no big deal to me, but most people prefer boneless fillets like this right here. So I got all three here. You're not wasting any of the fish. Can't wait to try this like I haven't already. <laughs> here we go. By far my favorite fish on the planet. I love flounder. I love white trout. I love whiting, which down here it's called ground mullet. Not to be confused with a Popeye mullet on the video I did a while back. Total different fish. But I absolutely love it. But this is my all-time favorite above any of them. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, smoke your ribs.